As a beginner, learning how to code can be intimidating. But contrary to popular belief, you don't need to be a genius. If I can do it, anyone can. All you need is the desire and dedication. So if you want to learn the programming skills needed to create computer software, mobile apps, or build your own website for free, you're in luck. Coming up, I'll show you 10 of the best websites for beginners to learn how to code online for free. And near the end of this video to help get you started, I'll show you a free online course I feel is essential for anyone wanting to learn how to code. Let's get to it. First up, in no particular order, is SoloLearn. Founded in 2014, it's well organized and user friendly for absolute beginners to learn coding. They now offer tutorials for more than 15 programming languages and disciplines, including Python, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, and many others. Their Code Playground is a great place to share code you've been working on and to collaborate with others. And if you ever need help, you can easily get answers from their community. In addition to learning from the web, you can also learn on the go with apps available for both iOS and Android. Next up from the folks over at General Assembly is Dash. Focused on web development, you'll learn the basics to create a modern looking website through a series of projects using HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. There's a total of five projects to complete. Those include build a personal website, build a responsive blog theme, build a small business website, build a CSS robot, and build a Mad Libs game. With any project, you'll have slides in the upper left to click through, with the code editor below that, and the output appearing on the right. The Odin Project is another site focused on web development, which is absolutely fantastic for those of you just starting out. If you're the type that learns better by doing, their set of courses is full of projects in a logical order, beginning with simple scripts, all the way up to building fully functional websites. While completing the courses, you'll learn about HTML and CSS, JavaScript, Git, Ruby, Ruby on Rails, and databases. The Odin project is completely open source, with more than 1,500 contributors working to improve the site. Exorcism is a website I just started using recently to learn a new language. Like the Odin project, they're open source, they offer code practice, and unlike most other sites, offers mentorship free of charge. They now have more than 50 different language tracks and over 3,000 exercises on their site. How it works is that you first choose the language you'd like to master, complete a coding challenge, review the solution with your mentor, unlock new exercises, and then at the very end, you'll complete the language track with an understanding of the fundamental concepts. After selecting your language track on Exorcism, you'll get a description of that track, along with the number of mentors available to help you out. Udemy is an online learning platform most of you are probably familiar with. If you want to learn a new skill, they have thousands of courses in many categories. While it's primarily known for its paid courses, you can also find a ton of free programming courses as well. But finding the free stuff isn't easy. To find the free courses, you could do a search here at the top for the language, or go to Categories here in the upper left. And in the Development category, go to the subcategory of interest to you. In this example, I'll go to Programming Languages and select Python. You'll now see a bunch of paid courses for that programming language. Scroll down the page until you see the filters on the left. And there they are. Go to Price and check the free option. With 226 courses in this example, you should have no trouble finding a course to take. It looks like based on the reviews, that Introduction to Python Programming is an excellent course for beginners. Free Code Camp is a completely free nonprofit whose goal is to make learning web development accessible to anyone through various challenges. You'll learn several skills which include JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, and many others. The lessons are laid out nicely with the instructions on the left, the code editor in the middle, and the output to the right. Their community forum at Free Code Camp is one of the best. This is where you can get help from other developers with any of your coding issues. Upskill is a site I told you about a few years ago, and since then has expanded quite a bit. Their courses are designed to take you from an absolute beginner to advanced web developer. You'll learn new skills and techniques, including HTML5, CSS3, Ruby, JavaScript, and many others, all of which are taught in an engaging manner, which will keep you entertained. As their popularity continues to grow, new content is being added on a regular basis. The basic courses teaching you the core principles are 100% free. Their intermediate to advanced courses require a pro membership of $19 per month. 
which is well worth the cost. If you want to learn how to code for free, the last site you should ever consider is Codecademy, unless you're the type of person that enjoys paywalls. In case you're confused, yes, I am trolling them. They claim to have invented the best system for learning to code. In my opinion, that's not true. While they do teach you the basic methods and how to write code, they fail miserably in showing you how to implement what you've learned. If you want to give them a try and waste your time, they do have so-called tutorials for most of the popular languages, but why bother? At one time, Codecademy was completely free and boasted how they were supported by the top tech executives. Now they just offer the absolute bare minimum lessons for free. Otherwise, they have monthly plans that start at around $40 per month that give you unlimited access. MDN Web Docs, previously known as Mozilla Developer Network, is a fantastic resource for web developers. In addition to Mozilla, Microsoft, Google, and Samsung also contribute their documentation to the site. You'll find a massive amount of learning materials for beginners. On the site, you'll learn about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Web APIs, Node.js, Web Extensions, Website Hosting, and a whole lot more. You'll begin with their guide, Getting Started with the Web, and finish up with Deploying to Production. That will give you all the information you need to get your website published. Created by MIT and Harvard, edX is an online higher education platform with more than 160 universities offering courses. What's great about edX is that all the courses are free, but there is a fee if you need a verified certificate. This is becoming less likely these days that you'll need one. And here's why. As you may have heard, many of the top companies are no longer requiring a degree or certification to get hired. All you may need are the necessary skills. In case you didn't know, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, and Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle, are all college dropouts. As promised in the intro to this video, Harvard's CS50, Introduction to Computer Science, is an essential course I feel everyone should take before learning to code. This entry-level course will teach you the core concepts that you need to know and get you familiar with a number of programming languages. Thanks for watching. You'll find the links to the sites mentioned in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.